wars have ceased to become an effective instrument of achieving your political or military objectives. They are too expensive and unaffordable. And at the same time, there is an uncertainty about their outcome. But it is the civil society that can be subverted, that can be suborned, that can be divided, that can be manipulated to hurt the interest of a nation. No nation can be built where rule of law has failed. People cannot feel safe and secure where law enforcers are weak, corrupt, partisan. I found that many of these values were enshrined in the oath that you just took. Enforce the law with that spirit. And it's no small call. Together, your service is going to provide, or my service also, to provide this sense of their being protected by law, a sense of safety, sense of security to 130 crore people, every seventh man on this planet is the one whose, whose safety and whose security you are responsible for. People are most important. The new frontiers of war, what we call the fourth generation warfare, is the civil society. Wars have ceased to become an effective instrument of achieving their political or military objectives. They are too expensive and unaffordable. And at the same time, there is an uncertainty about their outcome. But it is the civil society that can be subverted, that can be suborned, that can be divided, that can be manipulated to hurt the interest of a nation. And you are there to see that they stand fully protected. So the service of the people is the greatest service, not only from the point of view of our nation building, but also from the point of view of our national security. <laughs>